Hello crafty friends, it's Elaine. Welcome back to my channel, crafty friends. I hope everyone's having a beautiful Saturday. Today is 101 in El Grove, California, and it is hot. So guys, I am coming back with another tutorial for BB Crafts for some of the dyes that I picked up from them um, in my collaboration with them. And so I'm going to list BB Crafts, their 100 subby program, and the dies I'm using today in the description box, guys. But I wanted to come by and share with you what I did. So, guys, I made this cute memory dex. Look how cute that is, guys. I hope you find it as cute as I do. But look at how beautiful, oh my God, I just love these dies, guy. Guys, let me tell you, these dies are awesome, okay? These cut like butter, okay? You see how intricate they are. Look at that. They have just so many elements to them. But check it out. I'm going to show you before I get started. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So this paper here, it is the, um, this paper is that uh, craft, let me, let me pull it out real quick, I wanted to show you. This paper is this one, okay? The craft board, carton craft, okay, by Cricut. This paper is awesome, guys, awesome. If you haven't picked it up, you're missing out. I got it on Amazon really, really cheap. So. Look at this die. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. You see how beautiful it cut out? Now, look at this. Look how quick all those pieces fall out, guys. Nothing sticks. It is just like butter, okay? Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. Just beautiful. See how easy and how fast that came out? That is awesome, very awesome. Some dies you get like this, you can't even get the pieces out. So this is, I mean, these dies are legit. Mm. Sorry about that, guys. I had to take a sip of water. Um, these are legit, okay? See how beautiful they look with that paper? It's iridescent, and it has like a little yellow shine to it. It's so pretty. I love this paper. So I cut that one out, and then... I cut another one out, this one. See, I cut this one out, which is these two right here. So this one is this, let's see, yeah. This one is this one, and this one is the green one. And look, guys, I mean, this is just, I'm, I'm telling you, they cut out so good. There is no issues with these dies when you cut them out. So I cut these out. And we're going to do something. But it's, there's four of them. So there's these two. There's this one and the one I'm going to use in my tutorial. So guys, I'm going to list these down in my description box. And I'll tell you, they're good for layering, good for anything. Okay, so uh, this is this is a, a one, one to have in your stash. Okay, so look at the memory decks I made. Super cute. I put a, a girl hedgehog, I think that's what they call, right here, so pretty. And then here I put those delicate little butterflies. Hopefully you can see them, those little delicate butterflies that I got. And then I put some of the trim that I had picked up from, from I believe it was from... Oh, God, who did I pick it up? Natalie, I believe. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. So here's the dangle that I made on the other tutorial video. And here is the idea, guys. See, I used a little flower. These are really um, bead caps, but I used them right here with a, little, with a little pearl inside. I used this beautiful heart that came in my winnings from Scrap Diva. And then I put a little bit of white lace here. And I used another bead with a little pearl here. And I used one of the uh, these little uh, stick pins from 
99 cent store from Dollar Tree. I'm sorry, Dollar Tree. And then I put one of my beads that I have purchased. And yeah, look how pretty that is. Now who now tell me who wouldn't like you to send them something like this? And I I put it up on some some um some uh that sticky stuff from Dollar Tree. And then I put it I put one of Natalie's um Natalie's uh what do you call it? Rosettes there. Glitter rosettes. Which I'm sure that's from, from Natalie. I got so many things, guys, sometimes I get confused. If I'm not saying the right names and the right people, I apologize, but you know who you are. I appreciate you every day. So, guys, this is the one I made. It's a shaker, and yeah, super cute. So, I thought I'd come by and make one with you guys. And so, yeah, and so what I did was I got this, um, this memory decks that I already sewed and put the elements inside of it to save time okay garden party paper and then i just wanted to come by and let's put one together so we can have some fun okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put some of these these are the little sticky stickies from dollar tree okay guys so the first thing we're gonna do is, I'm going to use these elements right here, and we're going to see how it comes out, okay? So here's my little flowers. I got everything on my little tray here, and then my little things here, okay? So let's get that out the way, and let's get started. So first thing we're gonna do is, we're going to take the Marie Dex card, and we're gonna start with this piece here, okay? So we're going to get it all ready. And what's up with my, my glue gun? Okay, it is on. <laughs> I was like, is it on? So we're gonna just, uh, wait, it is on, but what's going on? It's not, oh, yeah, it's, it's not hot. What is up with that? That's not good. I had it, I had it getting heating up before I started this. But anyways, while that's heating up, let's go ahead and do these. So these are the little bottle caps that I showed you guys. And I just put one of the stick pins in here, the ball stick pins. And so I am going to make this just like a little element, okay? And then I'm gonna take this. Let's go ahead and do this part since my glue gun is acting up on me now. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a hole here on the memory dex card. I'm gonna make a quick little hole here. Let's make sure I got it on the right size. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna make a little quick here because I wanna put a dangle. So then I'm gonna take these little tiny, tiny eyelids and we're gonna stick it there, okay? Super little, super, super little. And then we're going to put it in here and just Give it a quick little one, two, three there. Okay, perfect. So that'll be for our dangle. And let's see what my glue gun's doing because I don't know. I had it nice and hot. So what we're going to do is, guys, we're going to take this and we're going to put some of these to pop it up and give it some dimension. Okay. And I love when my uh, memory decks are chunky. Really, really like it. So, I know everybody loves the chunky monkeys. So, let's get this on here. All right. Let's get it. Okay. So, this one we're going to just go ahead and stick on. And this, guys, is a um, cupcake liner from... Um, Daiso, okay? So we're just gonna put this puppy right here, okay? Stick it down. I love this iridescent um, paper. And so we're just gonna lay it here. We're gonna lay it here once I get um, this steel going here. I hope my glue gun, oh, there it is. I see it leaking out now, guys. It's warming up. So we're gonna put some of these little little um 
oops, little stickies right here also to pop up this paper on the sides because I popped up the um, the rosette, so I wanna make sure that this is popped up too so it doesn't look all flat and ugly, you know? So we're gonna pop it up. So guys, yeah, I, oh, I'm just so loving these dies. Yes, they are awesome. You can use them as bag toppers. So many, so many things you can do with them, okay? So now I got that popped up. And as you can see, I kind of made it a little round because I wanted to arch. And I love, love, love this die. I love the sunflowers. So we're going to put that there. I was thinking about putting another rosé underneath it, but then eh, I like the way that looks. And then we can even put anything in the middle. We can put this pretty bow and make it just really, really summery. We can put this little lemon there. Isn't that so cute? I think it's cute and summery. Makes me want to have a cup of lemonade. Okay, so here we go. So then, once my glue gun, it should be hot enough now. Okay, awesome. So my glue gun got hot. So we're gonna go ahead and glue this, um, this little stem here. We're gonna glue that down. Awesome, awesome. I thought something was going wrong with my, my glue gun. I said, oh Lord, not now. Okay, so we're gonna glue that there. So it will not fall and clean the excess out. Okay, and don't worry about the glue on here because I was messing with it and so I got glue on it. But that is gonna go covered. Okay, so now we're gonna glue this heart down this little trim down here we go oop, 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 oop. be nice be nice okay i'm gonna glue it here i was gonna arch it but i think i better put it straight because it might not might not be able to i don't want to cover the holes in it okay so let me just put a little bit extra glue here okay so that's down guys so cute so cute it's coming along and now guys we are going to put this puppy here okay we're gonna put it right here in the center and then we're gonna glue this down okay so I think what we're gonna do first is we're gonna glue put a little glue here just to hold it for a minute because I have the size that I want to glue down and I don't want to cover the whole rosette so here we go here we go okay perfect then we're going to take these things out so that we can put them down come on there we go and then when when you put it down you know just curve it a little bit so it look puffy you don't want it to look all flat you know you want it to look puffy give it some little oomph yes there we go very pretty okay then on this puppy here we're going to glue it there so now for this one, um, I was thinking about putting a doily from the little doilies that I cut out, but again, I don't know. I think it, um, I don't know, let's see. I wanna put too much pink because this one is more yellowy. I wanna make it more yellow than pink even though my Maggie Home paper has pink, but I also have a rosette already, so I'm just gonna glue it here, okay? So we're just gonna glue it a little bit in the center because that is where my bow is gonna go, okay? So we're gonna glue it there, guys. Let me grab my little fingertip so I don't get burned. Here we go. So cute, I am loving this. This is, oh. I really do like this die. I love the flowers on it. It's just so beautiful. So beautiful. So guys, I was going to use something else, but I think for the tutorial, I'm just going to use this pretty pink bow. Since I already have pink on the bottom, I'm just going to put that element there. Okay. So let's just put a little glue there. And glue it down. There we go. And I think 
I'm going to just use a little lemon. I was going to put something else, but I think the lemon's pretty cute and it looks all summery. So, guys, I think I'm just going to put the lemon down. Um, it's so cute. I really like the lemon. So, we're just going to use it. We'll just use it for now. Awesome. Look, guys. So cute, huh? It's coming out super, super cute. I love it. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we're going to cut the metal. But before we cut the metal, we're just going to throw a little bit of hot glue there to keep the stem in place. So make sure that you're turning your little flower here. Give it a little, little help. And then hold a little ball and then just snip it with this tool. This tool is... Um, Another good tool to have. This cuts any kind of wire. I don't see a name on it, but um, it says, just says CHP. So it's just a wire cutter, guys. You can find it anywhere. You can find it on Amazon. You can find it at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Joann's, okay? So then we're going to put our flower down. And we're just going to add a little glue here. And I really liked it, the one I did there on the on the heart. So I'm gonna go ahead and do another one here because I think it shows up really cute. I like it. That's cute. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do another one here. So cute. I love these little caps. They're very cute. Give it a little blow there just to help it out. And then I'm gonna cut it out okay then I'm going to put the glue again and this one I'm gonna place let's see oh yeah okay so we're gonna go ahead and just place it here on the flower that might take away I should have put the blue one there because the yellow you can't see it very good but that's okay we'll just leave it there I still can see it so that'll be cute Okay, and then I'm going to, I put a jump ring already on here, guys, because I want to hang something from here. Oops, 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 I really messed that up. Okay, let me see if I can reopen it, because I just messed it up, guys. Why is it when you're doing a tutorial, something always got to give? That's okay, though. Don't worry about it. I got it. I got it. Let me just use my other pliers to pull it apart, and it'll be good. I know this happens to everyone because we try to close these jump rings, and they close too, too much. Okay? So there we go. Okay. Situation under control. <laughs> okay. So now for this one, I think what I'm going to do is... Maybe I'll just use this little dangle. And since I have a jump ring on there, my friends, I'm going to take the lobster clasp out because I think it's going to be too much, okay? It's going to be a little too much. Not too much, but it's going to be too long to hang on there, okay? So we're just going to hang it on there get my plier sometimes you open these with your nails and your nails get all all messed up so all right come on baby there you go all right we are good to go come on okay guys this thing all right here we go all right <laughs> oh man you got to laugh in life, you know? You got to laugh in life. <laughs> Nothing is easy in life, I tell you. Okay, perfect. So we're going to do that little dangle there. All right. So look at that, guys. It looks cute. I hope you like it. I think it looks awesome. I would, if I was to receive this from a crafty friend, I'd be excited. Yes, yes. I think it came out super cute. I think, hold on. Oh, there it is. Okay. So it's kind of crooked to me, but there it goes. All right. 
So there is my memory dex card. And you can add so much more to it, guys, if you wanted to. But I'm going to leave it at that because I think it looks super cute. So now that we did that with these dies, I wanted to show you. I did cut these dies out, but I haven't really have done any projects with them right now. I'm working on something, but it hasn't hit me yet. Okay. Oh, and uh, oh, you know what, guys? I just remember something. Ding dong, ding dong. <laughs> Guess what? I wasn't gonna add this to this. So let's get this off, okay. Sorry, I knew I had that right in the first place, but you know, I thought about it and I forgot that I have the little link here for my element. Sorry about that, my precious friends. Oh, I tell you guys. Dun -dun. I was thinking about it and I said, wait a minute. I just put that there. Okay, come on, bolita. Out the way. Here we go. Okay, let's just hang you on the other side. Now. Here we go. I'll tell you guys, something always gotta, gotta give. Here we go. Okay, so yeah. So this will be better here. I like it here, and I can always add another one here, but I did want to hang it on this since I did this one on this side. So it looks cute. I like it. Okay, so we got those. Then I did cut these, did some of these dies out, and this is what they look like. Super cute. See? That's with the butterfly in it and with the butterfly out, and then that is the other one, and then this is the one with the bows. So some of these I did cut out. I'm going to be using on my projects, but I don't have a project right now set for that one. But I wanted to continue with these. These are gorgeous. Okay. So I did pull a back topper out. And guys, I think this is going to look so cute. Okay. So I was thinking... Maybe you can do something like, hmm, let's see. I have these. My container got stuck, okay. Guys, don't ever glue your containers with anything because the heat makes them stick harder, okay? So don't put any kind of two-sided anything. I put two-sided because they kept opening and it was driving me up the wall. I'm trying to find one here that doesn't have a star in the center. Let's see. There we go. Well, I'm just thinking, thinking out loud. So you can do maybe something like this. Or we can do, let's see, let me get another idea. You can do so many things with these. Okay, let's see over here. Maybe a little trim. I think a trim would be better. Let's see. I love this trim also. Uh, let's do this one. I think this one will be cute. <sighs> These containers are not very... Uh, I think this will look better. This one and this one over it. What do you guys think? I think so. Okay. So let's just put this here and let's try this. Look how pretty. That is so pretty. I don't know. I just I just love the trims. The trims just give your stuff so much um you know, so much setting and just makes it look all pretty. You can even put a flower. You can put um little things, you know. Let's see. I got some some little dangles. You can put a little strawberry on the side. You can do so many things with these guys. You can hang an element from it. There's just so much you can do with these. You can even take one of these little letters, put a jump ring, and hang it here if your friend's name starts with an A. Just ideas, okay? But I really do love these dies, and I think that, you know, 
they're a must. Look how pretty that looks too. So guys, these are just ideas that you can do with your dies and all the stuff that we have as crafters. So yeah, so you know, this just to give you ideas of what I did with my my stash and my my um my baby craft dies, okay? So this is so cute. You can even do this. You can even take this one, put it there and this on top. You can do this one on top. You can do so many things, guys, just to give you an idea of what you can do with a back topper. Just so many ideas. So, guys, that is my tutorial. And I just wanted to show you guys these that I did. And I wanted to do one with you. I hope you like them. And I hope that you check out BB Crafts and get these dies, guys, because they're awesome. And so, yeah, so come on, guys. Start shopping BB Crafts. This is so cool. I love this. Look at this, guys. I have these little things here that I received from Lisa. And look, you can even put one of these right there in the center. Oh, my God. Look how cute is that? That is so cute. But I'm just giving you guys ideas, you know. We're all crafters and we all love to make different things but again these dies are awesome and you need to check them out and pick them up if you haven't they're awesome and like i said guys they cut like butter that is my main thing i love dies that cut that i don't have a hassle with getting the little pieces out and and so forth so yeah so guys that is my tutorial. I hope you like it. I hope you guys look into getting these dies. Check out BB Crafts again. I'm going to list them below. And I'm going to put all their information, the program, and everything. So I just want to thank you for um, taking the time to come to my channel. Check these cuties out. And, oh God, I am in love with this one. <laughs> get these um you know going and just some some quick ideas on making some stuff with the dice so i hope you like them thank you for returning back to my channel have a great day guys if you like this give it a thumbs up it lets youtube know that you liked my content and if you haven't subscribed please do so us crafty friends have to subscribe to each other to um to be crafty friends okay so thank you. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Be safe out there and love you guys. Bye-bye.